Before we jump into the declaration, it is convincing to figure out what particle gas pedals are. The Enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets. Comparatively, it is the world's most conspicuous and most vital molecule smasher. It addresses the zenith of human accomplishment. Truly, it's strong to the point that it could replicate the specific conditions of the principal second in the world. Yet, could this machine, planned to open the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something else? CERN, spread out in 1954, is one of the world's most famous examination relationships, with 23 member states and vast specialists. It's a place for joint effort and development. The LHC is CERN's focal undertaking, yet it's just a single piece of a giant association of gas pedals and tests. Envision a course, not such a great amount for vehicles or individuals, but for subatomic particles, in a preliminary of mentality, perseverance, and space itself. The LHC speeds up protons to practically the speed of light, sending them on an impact course that mirrors the energy of the universe just after the Big Bang. The effects create temperatures commonly much hotter than the focal point of the sun. A massive number of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The shafts inside the LHC are made to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring, associating with the points of four molecule finders, MAP, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills a particular purpose, researching various aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as gigantic cameras, capturing images of these impacts. Scientists then filter through the debris, searching for indications of the elusive Higgs boson, also called the God particle, and other phenomena that could reveal hints about the universe's fundamental building blocks. By spotlighting the microcosm, we gain insights into the universe. However, with each answer comes another question, and with each discovery, another challenge arises. The LHC isn't simply a scientific instrument, it's a testament to human curiosity and progress. It represents our pioneering mission for knowledge and our desire to grasp the fundamental forces that shape our universe. However, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the deeper, more existential questions that arise. What are the risks of examining the unknown? Might our quest for knowledge inadvertently release forces we have no control over? In the sacred halls of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are continually tested, a discovery has emerged that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a respected voice in the field of particle physics, recently made a statement that has left the world both fascinated and unsettled. His words resonate with chilling clarity. The objective of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist further explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to reveal the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine grasping the power of creation, the ability to harness the very essence of the cosmos. It's an enticing possibility, but one fraught with danger. The miniature Big Bang isn't just a theoretical concept, it's a real phenomenon within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, everything replicates the conditions of the universe's birth. It's like standing at the dawn of history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong back in 1978. Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a catastrophe that would forever alter his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pradvino, Russia, a failure caused his head to accidentally enter the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with an unimaginable force, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was extraordinary. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns, yet he felt no immediate pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the medical center for treatment. The aftermath was both disturbing and remarkable. The beam caused localized tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Shockingly, Bugorsky's cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. 
This incident is not just a personal tragedy, it serves as a reminder of the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. The risks of a molecule smasher like the LHC should not be underestimated, the potential for catastrophic reactions, the very fabric of existence being altered. These are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by respected scientists. One of the most unsettling and intriguing concerns associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are colossal cosmic vacuums, devourers of stars, mysterious entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such a phenomenon, even on a small scale, is both astonishing and terrifying. Could this black hole eventually grow out of control, consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have reassured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and vanish almost instantly. Nonetheless, the slim possibility has sparked debates, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's crucial to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It all comes down to the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tightly, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a well so deep that anything nearby would be pulled into it. This is an analogy for what could happen at the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both strange and wondrous, there is a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. This peculiar dance of particles even captured the attention of renowned scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This instability could trigger a catastrophic event known as vacuum decay, an occurrence that wouldn't just destroy Earth, but could potentially obliterate the entire universe. Distinguished British cosmologist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about CERN's experiments. In his book On the Future of Humanity, he explored the possible dangers of particle smasher experiments, including those at CERN. His words weren't cautious, they were filled with a sense of existential dread. He described a worst-case scenario in which a failed experiment could trigger a phase transition that ripples through the fabric of space-time, resulting in a cataclysm that could consume the entire universe. While the probability of such an outcome is extremely low, he argued that even the slightest chance warrants serious consideration. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have run simulations, analyzed theories, and taken extensive precautions to ensure the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of these measures, recognizing the inevitable concerns and questions surrounding the LHC's operations. He emphasized that rigorous safety protocols are in place, with thorough reviews and procedures ensuring that the LHC's activities are conducted with the highest level of precision. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within what Earth naturally experiences and that the probability of creating a stable black hole is astronomically low. Even if one were formed, scientists assert that it would be so minuscule and unstable that it would disintegrate almost instantly in a burst of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting cosmic spectacle, a brief glimpse into the abyss, and then, gone. However, some have taken these ideas even further, speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a gateway to another universe or dimension. While this notion is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captivated the imagination of many, sparking intrigue, fear, and even conspiracy theories. Could we unintentionally unleash forces or entities beyond our comprehension? The idea of opening a portal to hell has been sensationalized in various media, fueling speculation. But how did this concept originate, and what does it mean for scientific exploration? The notion of extra dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests that there may be more than the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These additional dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, yet in theory, they could be accessed or influenced under extreme conditions, such as those recreated within the LHC. If this is true, then the LHC's experiments could momentarily interact with these hidden realms,
creating temporary distortions or gateways. While most physicists dismiss the idea of a literal portal, the possibility of discovering new aspects of reality remains an exciting and, for some, unsettling prospect. Ultimately, the Large Hadron Collider is more than just a machine, it is a symbol of human ambition and scientific ingenuity. It stands at the frontier of knowledge, pushing the boundaries of what we understand about the universe. Yet, as with all great advancements, it also raises profound philosophical and ethical questions. Are we ready for what we might discover? What responsibilities come with unlocking the fundamental secrets of the cosmos? And in our relentless pursuit of knowledge, could we unknowingly set events into motion that we cannot control? As the LHC continues its groundbreaking research, these questions remain ever-present. The quest to understand the universe is, at its core, a reflection of our own nature, a relentless curiosity, a drive to explore, and a willingness to confront the unknown. Only time will tell what revelations await us in the depths of the cosmos. As the LHC continued its operations, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge, something unprecedented occurred. Deep within the subterranean tunnels of CERN, a team of researchers monitored a new experiment designed to collide protons at an even higher energy threshold than ever before. The goal was to explore uncharted physics, perhaps even glimpsing beyond the standard model into the hidden nature of reality. But as the protons accelerated to near-light speeds and prepared for impact, the instruments began detecting anomalies. At first, it was subtle. Minor fluctuations in energy readings, strange interference on the data screens. The researchers dismissed it as an expected byproduct of high-energy collisions. But then, the anomalies became impossible to ignore. A faint, vibrating distortion appeared within the collision chamber. It was unlike anything they had seen before, a shimmering rift in space itself, pulsating and shifting as if responding to the very fabric of the universe being torn. The room fell silent as scientists stared at the monitors, some in awe, others in terror. Then, without warning, the distortion expanded. Alarms blared. Emergency protocols were activated. The magnetic fields controlling the particle beams wavered, their stabilizers struggling to compensate. The anomaly grew larger, forming what appeared to be a swirling void, a perfect sphere of absolute darkness. Not an absence of light, but something deeper, more consuming. What the hell is that? One scientist whispered, gripping the edge of his console. The senior physicist, Dr. Eleanor Vasquez, stood frozen. In her decades of research, she had never encountered anything remotely close to this. The simulations never predicted this. The theories never prepared them for this. The LHC had done the impossible. It had torn through the veil of reality. Panic rippled through the control room as radiation levels fluctuated unpredictably. The sphere pulsed, emitting strange signals, patterns that seemed almost intentional. Was this a natural quantum phenomenon, or had they opened a doorway to something else? Dr. Vasquez grabbed the microphone, her voice steady despite the dread creeping into her mind. Shut it down. No. Technicians scrambled to power down the accelerator, diverting energy and attempting to stabilize the system. But as they initiated the shutdown sequence, something even more alarming happened. The sphere began to move. Not randomly. Not as a chaotic burst of energy. It moved with intent, and then, as if acknowledging its creators, it pulsed one last time, before something stepped through. A figure, silhouetted against the swirling void. A presence from beyond. A hush fell over the room as the figure emerged, its form flickering between solid and ethereal, as if it existed between dimensions. No eyes, yet it saw them. No mouth, yet they felt its words resonate within their minds. You have called the voice echoed within their consciousness. And now we answer. Dr. Vasquez felt her breath catch. They had spent years searching for the fundamental truths of the universe. But now, the universe had answered back. And they had no idea what it would bring.